Welcome to Prepared Leaders, where we'll teach you the secret formula you have been missing when it comes to self-improvement and some leadership tips that will help you climb the ladder of success. Something we've all decided to try but almost always ended in failure at doing is convincing someone else of our point of view. This is indeed a problem because so many relationships are ruined when we try to convince someone else of our point of view. In this video, I'm going to give you 5 pointers on how to persuade someone else to change their mind. Number 1. Never turn the conversation into an argument. The first is to avoid turning the conversation into an argument. It should be a conversation in which you show your opinions as well as the facts that you've gathered from the data. And just about any case, this has no bearing on the other person's viewpoint. We believe that if we simply prove our point logically, common sense will convince the other person that we are correct. But the problem is that Emotions have had a much greater influence on our decision than most of what our brain logically decides as facts, and this is where most people get confused. Just because you are right, technically correct, and have far more supporting data doesn't at all mean that the other person will view it that way or that their ego is built in such a way that they will accept that. So when trying to persuade someone to change your mind, Keep this one as a conversation rather than an argument. Number two, never admit to be wrong. The second piece of advice would be never admit to being wrong. If you're going to tell someone else that they're wrong, you're going to have to give them a strong reason to come back to your argument and just topple all of your other arguments and supporting details, even if you show them a whole bunch of logical reasons and acceptable data after that. If you truly want to change someone's mind, we must avoid appearing to be trying to change their mind because, as previously stated, this may elicit strong emotions. If you're going to prove something, do not tell them you're going to have to prove it. If someone expresses an opinion that you believe is incorrect, even if you know it's incorrect, it's indeed highly recommended to point it out by simply stating, I thought otherwise, but I could be wrong. Let's look at the facts. The key here is to say that you could be wrong rather than just say that you are wrong. This means allowing the other person to reconsider the data and demonstrate to them that you are not stubborn and will not change your mind. Because no one will ever object if you say, I could be wrong. Let us just examine the facts. You're not trying to say you're wrong. You're just saying you're open to new ideas, which is crucial in attempting to persuade someone else to your view of point. Number three, to get the other person to say yes. The third tip would be to get the other person to say yes as soon as possible. So this is similar to the foot in the door technique of emphasizing and emphasizing things that you agree on. When you're looking to start the conversation, mention any hobbies you and your partner have. Something they're passionate about or something that gets them to say yes. Because the more times they say yes, the more likely they are to say yes in the future. It's a psychological trick that so many other salespeople are using to sell something. Starting a conversation about something they're passionate about or something you both have in common will get them to like you. And maybe even more, allow access to your ideas. It establishes trust. And before we continue with our next pointer, I'll be giving you time to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And let's continue. Number 4. Let the other person do the talking. The fourth tip is to let the other person do the largest portion of the talking. This is where the majority of people go wrong. What they are doing is trying to talk a little more in order to persuade the other person of their viewpoint. To begin with, allowing them to speak more freely demonstrates that you value their opinions and ideas, which will eventually earn their respect. 
People appreciate it when you give them your undivided attention since they want to express their own opinions to you. So by listening to them, you'll build a friendly relationship and trust. And by doing so, when you express your opinions and facts in your data, they will be more likely to pay closer attention. Also, if you disagree with something they're saying, never interrupt them. This is extremely dangerous because it's almost as if you're attacking them, and they may take it personally. This can change the entire debate from who is correct to I am correct and you are incorrect. Whatever the data says, they likely still have a lot more stuff in their heads to keep talking about. So just listen patiently with an open mind and encourage them to keep talking so that when it's your time to talk, they'll be out of things to talk about. Number five, let the other person feel that the idea was theirs. The final tip is to make the other person feel as if the idea was their own. So don't you have more faith in an idea you came up with than in someone else who gave it to you? You can put that idea into action with someone else. It's better to make suggestions and let someone else come to the conclusion than to give them the conclusion because they'll be proud that it was their idea. You can do this a lot in business and you can do it a lot at work. Giving someone the data and allowing them to draw their own conclusions allow them to feel as if it was their idea and that they are proud of it. So there you have it. Five simple tips to persuade someone to accept your point of view. And of course, if you don't have enough facts or data to persuade them, you can do one of two things. You can either gather more evidence to persuade them or perhaps you are the one who needs to change your mind. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when we upload new content. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in my next video.